All right, so today's vlog's gonna be different. It's not gonna be about motorbikes or anything like that. So basically, um, something that I used to do as a kid is draw. Um, I've always loved it, it's always something I've done. Um, I worked for Warner Brothers when I was about 17 or 18. I started off doing animation and in-betweens. And then I sort of moved on, did a bit of cartooning and stuff like that, and then went into design and advertising. And So I don't get to draw as much as I used to anymore. But one thing that I used to like to do is play a game called Squiggles. It's basically just like you'd see that on TV, Mr. Squiggle, where he'd draw off his nose and upside down Jane, all that sort of stuff. So I found it's a good way to, to force yourself to draw a bit differently. Because a lot of people, they have a certain style they like to draw in and they, they stick to that. Um, the beauty about Squiggles is you're forced to you work within those few lines and, and make something up out of it. So there's two ways you can do about it. You can draw the squiggle and make something out of it. Or if you want to make it really hard, you draw the squiggle and force yourself to draw something like a cat or a dog or whatever it is you're into. And it's really easy to do. You'll be you'll be surprised at how well actually some kids do it. They just got that really cool way of thinking and a good imagination and they generally will draw better when drawing squiggles than if you would have given me a pen and paper and say draw something because their, their imagination is just so much better than adults. So, I'll show you how it's done and um, we'll go from there. All right, so basically draw a couple of lines, two, three, whatever you want. If you get someone else to draw the lines for you, it's a bit more of a challenge because you're not subconsciously doing lines that you might already know. Try closing your eyes or get someone else to do it for you. Um, I'm just gonna put in just a random three lines and then from that, you know, you spin it around until you get to something where you think, oh yeah, I can make a picture out of that. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be some bloke's ear. That can be their hair. And a bit of, uh, what are they called? Chops. Um, and a nose. A bit of an eyebrow. Give him some eyes. Mouth. I don't know why he's got such a big ear, but anyway, he does. So maybe he's giving him a bit of a chin. Give him some stubble. A bit of a neck. And that's basically how you can make pictures out of squiggles. Those my eyes again. Alright, um. I just don't know what I want to do yet. Some crazy chick, like a Japanese hairstyle or something. I don't know. There you go. Simple. And then from there, if you really want to, you can refine them into actual proper characters depending on what you want to do. Right, so there you go. Squiggles. Easy to do. Anyone can play it. The kids are running around, they don't know what to do and they're bored and they want to draw or whatever. Um, yeah. Show them how to play. Have a bit of fun. Should take, keep them off your hands for half an hour. Alright. That is the end of my vlog for today. Day number seven. Week five. Something like that. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.